Hey, what's good, everybody? Uh, so this is going to be the first video that I make for the Stand In Your Truth channel. Uh, it's really hot, so I have the fan on, so hopefully you guys don't hear the fan and all that, right? So um, this isn't going to be so much spiritual, but if you understand, then you'll see how it ties into the spiritual, right? Because it, it really um, does connect, right? But this isn't going to be focused so much on the on the spiritual but something you could use for your the rest of your life right and understand um so i was playing with my dog right and so she has this toy that she they she wasn't gonna let go no matter what and she had the toy i wanted to get the toy so um you know so i knew you know i grab another toy right so she's holding i'll just use this i, I don't want to i couldn't find her toys actually i don't know where the hell she hit them from me right but so she had the toy I wanted, right? And so she wasn't gonna let it go. Finally, um, I come with another toy, right? And I'm holding it. And she's holding onto her toy. I'm holding it. I'm waving it, making it look nice. All of a sudden, she drops the other toy. And then I'm waving this one. She's looking at it, looking at it. And then with my other hand, I reach and I grab this toy. Now I have this toy, but she's so focused on this one. She kind of look glances at it, but then she just wants this toy, right? So, you know, I bring all that up to say that's like the oldest trick in the book, right? So that's kind of what happened right now. You see it. And, you know, hopefully this, I can leave this up and it will apply to people later on in the future. I know right now we're going through this um, whole election thing. So I don't, I don't know if people will get offended by this. It doesn't really matter. But I want to just say, uh, you know, what happened, right? The truth about what happened. So. When I woke up today, I saw this whole QAnon thing, which for a long time it's bothered me, you know, because I, it, it didn't make sense. Anyone with common sense, the basic common sense, would understand what was going on, right? This whole thing about um, save the kids and this and that, right? It's like waving the dog, right? The goal was to get this character right now that's sitting on the White House out of office because this person is like, you know, just not good for anybody, right? Uh, the racism that he's brought out, the violence, the lies. I mean, just all the religious people that claim to be of a certain religion. And here this guy is like the father of lies, right? You know, in in their book, you know, which isn't, but in their book, like the Bible, it says the father of lies is like Satan, right? And all this stuff. So here you got like a follower of Satan just by the actions and this is the person they're following. So that's how you see where things start getting confusing, right? So this character, you know, he had his people. They started this QAnon thing, right? And uh, they start telling you it's all about saving the kids. And this, their Jesus, is the man that's saving their kids, right? Of saving the kids. Not even their kids. The saving the kids that are disappearing and this and that. Meanwhile, this is the same person putting kids in cages to disappear. Thousands have disappeared. Since they started getting how the, the borders and everything uh getting molested by the guards all that stuff these are the facts that we know right meanwhile they still sell us the idea that he's really the one saving the kids in four years not once nothing no act it's all going on behind behind like the wizard of oz right it's magically behind the curtains he's doing this but with our eyes we can see that kids are getting hurt by the thousands under this person's um, command, right? Not a finger lifted to. It's supposedly happening behind the scenes magically, right? Um, so that's the illusion that, that they give, right? The shiny way. No, no, this is what's really happening. They wave us the illusion. You know, and it was heartbreaking because I've seen a lot of people that I, I thought had more sense, you know, brown, black, native, white. So it didn't matter about the racial or ethnic culture, nothing like that. That's the thing. These are all tactics, right? These are tactics that have been used for hundreds, thousands of years, you know. Um, but if you don't read, you won't know. It's something that, that you've never seen before, right? It's like trying to explain. You know how like in the Bible, these people were explaining chariots of fire. And then, you know, in modern times, you know, people are like saying that those must have been the UFOs. And so that's how, how you know, someone... It just depends on where you're at. You try to explain it, right? You try to explain to somebody. And so that's how it is. Just knowing history and knowing the tactics that have been used time and time again. Then you understand. 
you know, because even that, right? Just comment it. Not that like Hollywood is a perfect place. I know. I'm sure. Whatever crimes they've done, they'll in due time. Everything you know, it, everything comes out right. Um, and so, but it was obvious, right? Because a lot of Hollywood people, not all of them are bad, and a lot of them, the majority went after this character, right? This this person in the White House, you know. Uh, the majority of them went after him. So, is it any coincidence that this whole QAnon thing is blaming them for all the kid abductions and all this and that? When we know politicians church people you know like if they really cared about the kids they would shut down the churches that that you know when the priest molest kids they just move them to another church and this and that and that and it just goes on forever and ever you know we've seen the documentaries about the priests that molest or, or rape the nuns you know like there was that one where the not only did the priest rape the the girl studying to be a nun but at also he would bring along friends and police officer friends and this, this and that to um to rape her as well, right? Uh, so all those institutions would be shutting down if it really was about the kids, right? The detention centers, the the, the churches. You know, I, I unfortunately know Native people that are still alive that, you know, in the boarding schools that were ran by, like, church people and all that, you know, that were abused as kids. You know what I mean? How do you, you know, it's just... So that's that whole Save the Kids thing, you know, right, like right now we know... Uh, you know, murdered, murdered, missing, and indigenous women, right? Like indigenous people are the number one that get abused and disappear and this and that. Um, but yet, these these groups of people don't really care about that. They're just feeding us that Wizard of Oz illusion that behind the curtain, you know, this character saving all the kids, but we can't see it. You know, with our eyes, we could see that he has them um, in cages since his presidency to, you know, to get abused by the guards and disappear by the thousands, but. Somehow, magically. So just use common sense. Use common sense. Use common sense. And spiritually, you'll see it too in your life. You'll see when something, you're on the road, you're on the path, and something will come from the side trying to shine something. No, 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 this is what it is. If you already knew, you already, something's been guiding you, right? So we knew that this person was bad, you know, like I said. Like, if you just buy old texts, you know, I don't never consider the Bible a Christian thing, right? The Bible was already a tribal manuscript. From years before right so you know they just hijacked it and said okay let's use this 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 that you know what i mean let's make it ours uh you know and even jesus you know if you read it he warned about that that one day some people will come and, and be like hey we're the real jews kind of thing not say, necessarily saying they're the real jews but stealing someone's whole thing right and then he called them the synagogue of satan so that's what they did with that whole thing and now you even got another guy called the father of lies I mean, that very similar, you know, that they've shown, they fact-checked all the lies this character says, and it's just astounding. You know, it's astounding, and people still will choose to follow this, right? So it shows, they're hard and not in the right place, but I'm. That, this is not for them, this is for anyone that has common sense. Search your soul, your spirit, you'll know the truth, stay away from the clutter, and you'll, you'll be able to know, because... Cause you know you'll 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 see the guidance, but you gotta stay away from the circus, right? You gotta stay away from the circus um, of the lies, right? Understand? So that's my, I guess it's kind of a plea too, just to open up your eyes and all that. Uh, I just wanted to share that because it reminded me when I was playing. So unless you want to be like a dog, because that's how they look at you, right? It's that simple to distract you, right? Like how I was playing with my dog and then she didn't want to give it the toy. All I had to do was shine something else. No, this is what it, like you really want this, right? You really want to go after these people. This is, you know what I mean? Like almost like the whole, these are not the droids you're looking for. You know what I mean? Like, dude, come on. Have some common sense. Have some, uh, you know, don't be distracted. Don't be like a dog that, that, that's not what you want. You want this. And that's what they did, right? So all that, just to say like, that organization from the beginning I knew I saw enough evidence to know that it's not it was it was still a pro this person and I already knew that this person was not a good person so so it was clear like that they were up to something and it was tricks and they make it they package it real nice you know what I mean it's like if I, I give you dog poop in a pretty package yeah it looks pretty on the outside I'm handing it to you and it looks nice, you're like, oh, you know what I mean? Look at, wow, look at how the bowl shimmers and this and that. Like, 
They sold, they're selling you the illusion that, yeah, we're changing the world. We're going to save the kids, save the kids. But they're not saving the kids. You know what I mean? Because if that was the case, they'd be at all the detention centers, busting it open, being like, you know, they would get their own commander in chief, their leader. They would get, they would go after that guy for what, what he's doing to the kids. You know what I mean? Common sense. Just use common sense. I'm sure a lot of people that follow this will, will have follow those people both that organization and the character himself will get offended by this, but it's fine. You know what I mean? If we're really going to care about the kids, let's care about the kids. Let's stop all these people that really don't care, right? Uh, you know, like even that, if they're really going to do it, then hold those church people accountable, hold these detention centers accountable, hold that guy accountable that hasn't done nothing, lifted a finger. But yet, yeah, magically, we're supposed to believe that behind the scenes, like the Wizard of Oz, he's, he's pulling all these levers to magically save these kids. But yet, yeah, they've still disappeared by the thousands during this character's presidency. You know what I'm saying? So, there it is. That's it. That's what this is going to be. That, I mean, that, I just want to say that, you know, playing with the dog reminded me of that. You know what I mean? So, don't be a dog, right? All right. Peace.